all the way from the energy technologies area. Please give it up for Taylor. <laughs> How many of you use microwave oven recently? Please raise your hand. I won't call you out. Awesome, that's pretty much all of you. Great. Um, <laughs> so I'm asking this because that is what I'm working on. Um, so we are living in an era of climate change where we have emitted just too much CO2 and we need to remove most of it out of the direct, directly out of the air. So we call such a device a direct air capture. Direct air capture is basically an oven. We can fill up this oven with materials specially designed to capture CO2. So what we need to do is simply pass air through this device to filter out CO2. Once they are full, we can turn on the oven and the CO2 comes out in a pure form, which now we can safe, safely put away. But here's the one problem. This device would actually be too expensive to use. Oven, as you know, is a quite slow device, which means we would actually need an oversized system to capture CO2. This will be very energy intensive. And also, this high temperature operation really degrades the material we designed to capture CO2 selectively. So this means this device will be actually quite inefficient doing its job. So what do we do? My innovation is using microwave. We actually know one thing about microwave. It's really fast. So So microwave absorption, so basically imagine kitchen microwave oven. And um, so which, which so, well, let me go back, use my slide because this fast reaction means we actually need just a small device and then still capture the same amount of CO2. Also, here is what makes it very interesting. Microwave absorption is a very selective process. So for kitchen application, uh, we actually heat up water molecules inside the food so that we can have, we can enjoy our lunch. But for, but for their air capture, we can actually design the system such that we can selectively heat the CO2 or near the CO2 so that pure CO2 can come out without really heating any material. So now this dry air capture can run near room temperature. And then now we can use this material much longer because we are not actually destroying them at high temperature. So at Berkeley Lab, I'm actually, I will be leading a small team of scientists to develop this concept into reality. This means this includes studying microwave absorption at the very tiny molecule level, and also building a larger lab scale prototype so can, we, can, we can really demonstrate this at scale. So next time you heat up your lunch using microwave, please remember we could also cool down the earth using microwave.